today i feel like doing something fun let's read some of the top comments on reddit about some stereotypes of spain let's just see what people say this one says when you speak spanish even at least halfway decent you will make friends i think this is true one thing i've noticed about spanish people or spanish speaker is that they do not expect you to speak Spanish. This is so different than English speaking countries because I feel like when I live in the States, nobody, like if you talk to people in English, nobody says, oh my God, your English is so good. Oh, you speak English. Because somehow I feel like they have this deeply rooted conception that people should just speak English somehow nowadays. So naturally when you speak English, they do not find it surprising or impressive and I think Probably a lot of people feel that this is the way it should be Whereas for Spanish speakers, they would be really surprised Even if I can say some really simple Spanish sentences Most of them would be amazed by how you speak Spanish You do not even need to speak Spanish perfectly And they just think it's amazing that you know Spanish So if you are traveling to Spain or want to make some Spanish friends Or you want to move to Spain, I highly recommend you, you know, just learn Spanish Okay, this one says Drinking beer is acceptable at any time. I think it's true-ish. I mean, I've never seen people drinking beer in the morning, but it's super normal having a beer for lunch or after work. And then they are loud and talk over each other. This is so true. It is surprising to me how loud Spanish people are, especially in the restaurant. I've had this experience for so many times. I feel like if there is a table of Spanish people, sitting behind you. They are so loud that I have to shout at my friend sitting across the table. You have to compete with the table sitting behind you to talk to your friends. <laughs> Sensitive to criticism of their country, but love to complain constantly about it amongst themselves. This is also very, very true. Because uh, a few months ago, I started doing TikTok. I was just sharing some of my observations of Spain Things like, oh, how Spanish people would pronounce certain English words. That's just my observation. It's a fact that they pronounce some of the English words in a Spanish way that is really hard for a non-Spanish speaker to understand. Or something like, oh, they have piso interior, or it's not really cheap living in Spain. I wasn't even criticizing Spain, but the kind of comment that I got from Spanish people are astonishing that I've decided to just stop doing TikTok because there were so many hate comments they would become super defensive I wasn't even attacking Spain I was just saying these are what I've noticed that's different these are things that I did not know before moving to Spain but true, they do love to complain about their country I mean, on a certain level, understand this it's like, oh, if my country is not good I am from this country so I am entitled to complain about it but for people who are not from this country but live in this country do we not have the right to share what we think of the country where we live everyone's abuela makes the best tortilla <laughs> that's true <laughs> eating dinner from 8 to 11 i've talked about this you probably see this in spain getting anyone oh getting anything done in august is impossible this is so very true everyone is on vacation where they work only until like two to three on a certain level i understand that for people who have kids maybe this is only time that school is off and then they can just do a family trip somewhere personally i do not like taking vacation in summer at all july probably august not really because there are so many people everywhere it's so expensive everywhere and plus it's hot as hell why do i want to spend my vacation under such condition i would i prefer taking a vacation in september october when it's cooler there are fewer people the view is nice it's not that hot if you know why everybody is going on vacation in august please share in the comment for me just to learn again this is not a complaint they love a day off and a local fiesta they even invented the buen day to have more days off sometimes the, the main story on the news is everyone is traveling back from their holiday okay so one thing about the buen day is that i mean it depends on it really depends on the company policy but a lot of people think that uh, Spanish people have this one day, which means that if Thursday is holiday, they would take Friday off to bridge Thursday and Saturday, which is why it's called a Wednesday. 
uh, which means bridge. For some companies, you can choose to have a certain number of one days, maybe like three times a year, for example. But for a lot of the companies, if you want to take the Friday off, you need to use your own annual vacation days. It's not something that comes free. And including that vacation in August, of course, there are places that allow you to work remotely for the whole month of August, that does happen, I know. But for a lot of people, when they take August off, it's not that they just take the August off. They're using their annual vacation days. A lot of people choose to take their vacations in August. It's not something like people inherently do not work in August. It's a choice. We love to eat and drink at the bar and stay like half an hour or more speaking in the table. That's very true. So here in Spain, after a meal, a drink or coffee or whatever, there are so many people that are just sitting at the table and just talk. They do not necessarily order more things to be able to sit at the table. Some people just order once and they could just like talk forever. Half hour of just talking and ordering nothing, sitting there is perfectly normal here. I'm actually having a lot of fun reading these comments and just sharing my thought about it. Let me know if you like this kind of video and let's just call it a day for now. I'll see you in the next one. Ciao!